Good night, teacher. Hello, Smilda. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. I am very happy to see you. Hello, Maria del Carmen. Hello, Janet. Hello, Moises. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Jose Eduardo. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, my dear class. It's a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Poor Moises. They were bothering him on the last class. Ahí estaban fregando a Moisés en la última clase. Porque ya había terminado su plataforma. <laughs> Can we work in groups, you say, for the presentation? No, no le da el carrito a Julio. Okay. So, did you finish working on your, on your platform, students? In which one? Uh -huh. Good morning, teacher. Um, Hello. Good morning. Good, good evening. Good evening. Ah, good evening. I, pardon, excuse me, excuse me. Good evening. The only one who can say good morning is Victor. <laughs> good morning, mm. Victor, right? But for the rest, good evening, right? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Hi, good evening. Good morning, Victor. <laughs> good morning, teacher. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I am doing great. Very happy to see you. This is okay. good evening, El Salvador. Good morning, France. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> France. Yeah, you can say. So say bonjour. Bonjour for my French friends. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to work a little bit on the time today. And we are going to do a little introduction for present continuous as well. On a Sunday, I sent you the, the format for the presentation. It's only two person that you are going to talk about and you are going to describe it, right? I sent everything that you have to describe and I think it's going to be nice and clear. Okay, Osmilda, in which part of the platform are you having problems? En, en la parte donde tengo que poner qué están haciendo, que solo está el sonido. Ajá. Y dice que tengo que poner yo qué es lo que están haciendo. Ahí estoy, estoy confundida y estoy grabada. Falta de confianza porque no nos ha preguntado en el grupo, hombre. Porque estaba tratando de repasarlo para ver si lo logro entender. Well, number, number eight is the most difficult. She's typing. What is the one that you have problems with? ¿Qué número es el que tiene problemas? En la uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en la... En la ocho. En la ocho, sí. Ok. <ríe> Son malillos ustedes. <ríe> ya vieron el chat, ¿verdad? <ríe> Son malvados. ¿Quién fue que era este? <laughs> ok. Ah, yes. All my verbo to be. <laughs> ok, good. So, uh, number eight, she is typing. And number one, I think she is. I send it there. Let me just find it. Who remembers what was the first sound? ¿Quién recuerda cuál era el primer sonido? She is. Number two, she is swimming. Number three, she is eating. Number four, she is. Okay, she is driving, pero no me lo acepta. She is driving. ¿Por qué? ¿Será que lo estamos escribiendo mal? Bye. Do you know what, what we are going to do? Escríbalo, escríbalo y me manda la captura justo de cómo lo está poniendo. Así yo puedo revisar dónde está el error. Ok. okay. okay. Pero la última sí es: she is typing. Good. 
Very good. So we're going to work on this one. Thank Whenever you. you have a problem like this one, remember to take the screenshot. Que a veces me dicen, es que no me lo agarra. Pero no me mandan como lo están poniendo. Entonces ahí tengo que ver yo cuál es el error que está pasando. Well, my dear class, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. And for sure, this is our last week in classes, but for sure, your first step on learning. ¿Ya enviaron la información para su segunda inscripción? Ay, no. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Ok. No se les olvide enviarlo, por yes. favor. Ok, perfecto. Yes. Fíjense que yo mandé la información a, al señor que, que me, me mandó el link. Uh -huh. Y no se ve como que lo ha leído. No sé si tendré problemas con eso. Ok. Porque eh... yo lo mandé el día exacto. Ajá, ok. Entonces, este, si quiere, mándemelo y yo y, y directamente le voy a, a dar forward a la persona, a, a los encargados del grupo. O puede poner uh -huh. su situación en el grupo, es que ya se envió al encargado, pero no ha recibido respuesta. Póngalo en el grupo también para estar ahí prevenidos en ambos lados, ¿ok? Yo también sí. quería saber porque lo mandé por correo y no tuve respuesta. O sea, no sé si nos confirma, no solo se sigue así el proceso. El ok, se igual, el... igual Stephanie puede ponerlo en el grupo de okay. este, que yo ya envié mi información por correo. Creo que le pueda responder al, al mensaje que nos enviaron ellos. Ah. Yo, ya, ajá, yo ya le di respuesta, póngale, pero no he recibido confirmación. Okay. Y para, para que nos den la de la parte de ¿Alguien más que tenga alguna duda? Yo no la he mandado sí. y dice que fecha límite el 15 hasta ahorita estoy bien no, Mándelo ahora, mándelo, mándelo Va Mándelo, lo sí. importante es que lo mande Ajá, María del Carmen, dime eh, Yo tengo dudas porque sí envié la documentación al correo y sí recibí respuesta tenía unas observaciones las corregí pero ya no me contestaron y también escribí ahí el número que me dijeron. Ok, igual, pongámosle ahí. Póngale, María del Carmen, eh, yo envié ya mis correcciones y todo, pero no he recibido confirmación. Y ahí ya le voy a ir dando forward yo en el, en el grupo. Ok. Igual más? yo. Vale. Yo también. Yo envié el correo y se lo envié al WhatsApp también a la persona. Y no he recibido respuesta. Ok, pónganlo, pónganlo todo. Yo creo que él nos envió ahí ahora un mensaje de, de que teníamos que enviarlo. Así que ustedes sobre ese mensaje pueden responder para eh, confirmar. Imagino que los demás ya recibieron su confirmación. Yes. In the platform. Did you finish? Ok, Osmilda, if you haven't received it, send it there. José Eduardo, did you finish the platform? ¿Ya terminamos de trabajar en la plataforma? El micrófono, sweetie. La de esta semana me falta el examen final nada más. Ok, perfect. ¿Víctor? Eh, todavía no. Eh, voy a iniciar en la quinta. Ok, terminemos. Terminemos de trabajar eso. Antes de que se terminen las clases, tiene que estar todo completado. Madeline. La quinta también. Solo esa. Eh, ahora la voy a terminar. Ok, perfect. ¿Ruth Daniela? Solo me faltan dos test ya. Ok, terminemos. Hoy tiene, te, tratan de terminarlos eh, entre hoy y mañana. Stephanie. Una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, eh, sería la inscripción de módulo uno, o do, perdón, dos. Sí. Eh, yo creo que solo me falta corregir un par de cositas que no, que no me salieron bien en el primer intento. Pero entre hoy y mañana lo veo. Ok, para que toda su plataforma quede al 100%, traten de hacerlo entre hoy y mañana, para que todos los ejercicios estén al 100% y ustedes pasen obviamente con un 100% de porcentaje. María Elena. Teacher. Yes? Me falta terminar la quinta. También en la plataforma okay. ya lo podemos completar. What? También hay un examen en la plataforma. Todo, 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 todo. Todo okay. tiene que ser completado. Todo. Thank you. Oscar. Solo la semana 5. Ok, mm. terminémoslo, porfa. Terminemos toda eh, esa parte. Y okay. Igual, si tienen alguna duda, el mañana el, la podemos corregir ahí. Ok, good. Eh, let me see, Nancy. Nancy Jocelyn. Solo me falta la quinta picture. Ok, thank you very much. Eh, terminémosla. Terminémosla y los exámenes de un solo. Sí. Zulma. 
Teacher, yo ya finalicé la quinta. Después de la quinta ya no pude pasar a la siguiente. ¿Y los exámenes? Todos los, los que están al final están, ya están hechos. Solamente uno me hace falta, que ese no he podido, solo me salen dos. De cinco solo me salen dos buenas. Entonces, eh, ok, mándeme, el, mande captura, porfa, de los que le salen malas, así le podemos colaborar ahí en el grupo. Ok. Eh, ¿Let's see? Rosa María. Igual, eh, la quinta me hace falta. Espero okay. terminarla entre ahora y mañana. Ok, perfecto. Para ayudarle en cualquier cosa y que necesite. Eh, Muchas Janet. gracias. Sí. Este, a mí me falta, teacher, pero ahora continúo y si tengo inconvenientes, yo mando la captura para que me ayude. Perfect, perfect. Eh, let me see, Ronald. Eh, no, voy a la mitad de la quinta. Ok, entonces igual, llegamos la trabajando entre hoy y mañana para terminar con esto ya antes del jueves. Okay. Let me see, eh, Moisés. Ah, Moisés, complete everything, hasta la del otro módulo. <laughs> How are you, Moisés? Hi, teacher, I'm good. Eh, sí, ya lo terminé. Everything. Eh, solamente que eh, creo que no voy a poder encender la cámara porque el internet está bastante mal y cuando la trato de encender, como que todo se pone trabado. Ah, oh, ok. So, but try. En los momentos que tengas apagado el micrófono, la puedes poner un ratito para que quede registrada y de que ahí estuviste. Mr. Ricardo Alexander, welcome. Hello. Uy, no le sirve el audio, hijo. Hijo mía. Pues Tomando, Ricardo, ya, ahora sí. Ahora sí, ah, yes. tiene falso el conector. Ah, ok. <ríe> Para el día del padre le van a regalar otra vez. <ríe> <ríe> ok, my dear class, we are going to work a little bit. As we were studying in the previous class, we were discussing about time, right? We were discussing about time and about how to express the different moments of the day. Here, I have a little conversation about Debbie and John. Here, I am going to share something before, and it is this little map. In this map, what can you see? What can you see in this map? Or what does it refer? ¿A qué se refiere este mapa? Más o menos, ¿hay alguna idea? Exactly, right? The different times around the world. What do these numbers represent? ¿Qué representan estos números de aquí abajo? La diferencia de horas. La diferencia de horas. Yes. Very good. So, what is the time difference from here to France? France. Uh -huh. France. Tenemos el ejemplo vivo aquí, pregunten. <laughs> Compañero. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Victor, what time is it? Uh, it is uh, four. Two uh, hours. When, when, uh, no, four past uh, 15. Four past morning. 15 in the morning. So, mathematics. Yes. Eight, four, Ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four. Seven hours of difference. Seven. Seven hours of difference from here to France. Imagine. No, no, England. Uh, to uh, England. Reino Unido. London. Oh my God. Oh, London. here it's seven hours of difference. I thought you were in France. In London. Yes. Imagine seven Hello. hours of difference from here to London. And here you have, as you can see, here we are in El Salvador. We have seven hours six. of difference. Eight. Right? Six. Yes. Seven hours. Six, six and one, seven hours of difference. Oh my God. 
a lot of time. Dígame que, ¿cómo va a estar mañana la lluvia, Víctor? <laughs> Amaneció lloviendo. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's summer. In London, it's summer. Ah, uh, it's summer. How nice. Yes. It's, How it's nice. very good. It's, it's a very nice weather, I imagine. Yes. Who's a teacher? Are you a teacher por ahí? ¿Quién fue? I am. Okay. Yes. You... Tell me. Uh, repeat, please, in number. Uh, the. The hour, all hours? The, the hours? hours? How many hours? hours? ¿Cuántas, ¿Cuántas horas tenemos de diferencia? Uh -huh. de, en, en base al... Ah, in, in, basing, basing on the, on the map. The okay. Picture. Basing on the, the picture. Here, you have the different times and the different hours of... Okay, for example, here in the case of Victor, he is in London, right? Mm -hmm. He's right here, right? In this case, he is in the in the zero time. And we have six hours or seven hours of difference with London, right? Aquí contamos cuántas horas hay de diferencia de nosotros aquí en El Salvador, here to London. It is six hours of difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Thank and Imagine with Sydney, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hours of difference with Sydney. It will be a 20 hour difference, almost, Austria. Austria. almost one day. Yeah, with Australia. We have 20 hours of difference with Australia here in El Salvador. Tenemos 20 horas de diferencia with people in Sydney. So, in Sydney is the next next day. Right? With Victor, we only have seven hours of difference. But I am going to show you here a picture of a conversation and it is going to be represented. And the conversation says, hello, hello. hello. Hi, Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Hi, Australia. Debbie. This is John. Hi, Debbie. Australia? This is John. I call him from Australia. Australia? Australia? I'm in a conference in Sydney. Remember? Ah, oh, right. What time is it there? What time is it there? It's what 10 time? p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. It's like, eh, ya para qué, ya me despertaste. That's okay, I'm awake now. <laughs> it's like, hello. <laughs> Poor Debbie was sleeping, right? Yeah. Ring, ring. La mejor hora. To the best hello, time of the morning. John. Hello, I am from hello. Hello. Okay, all of you are hello. John. Hello. Todos ustedes son John. Yo soy la Debbie dormida. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello. Ring. Hi, Ring. Debbie. Hello. Okay, this, this is John. This is John. This I am calling from, from, from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am in Thailand. Remember? Remember? Ah, yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. Right. What time is it there? This 10 p.m. and it's okay. right now. Okay. There, okay. In and right. and, uh, there and there there right. Angel, right. Angel, right. Angel, right. Angel, right. Angel, right. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, 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 Oh, really? That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> I am going to get some cereal. To eat in the morning. Okay. All of you are Debbie and you are sleeping. All of Hello. you are Debbie and you are sleeping. Hello. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is Nati from Australia. <laughs> Australia. Australia. I'm in a conference in El Salvador. Do you remember? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? 
Yes. Oh my God, for 3 a.m. I'm very sorry. Uh, okay. And what's now? Awake now. Awake now. Awake now. Awake is when you awake. wake up, right? Just like awake. the awake. Now. I'm awake now, right? Awake. Let's see. Uh, awake. Stephanie and Nancy. Action. Hello. Nancy. Dormida. Nancy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Baby. Hi. Stephanie. This is Nancy. I'm Kylie, Kylie from Australia. Australia. Um, at conference in Sunday, remember? See uh, me. All right. That time there. It's at 10 and it's 4 o'clock. There in Los Angeles. Right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sorry for... <laughs> oh, I'm re really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. I'm awake now. Very good job. Thank you very much. Practice with me. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Hi, Dave. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hi Debbie. Debbie. This is John. This is John. I'm um, calling I, from I, Australia. I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling from, from Australia. Australia. I'm calling from Australia. I'm, I'm calling, calling from Australia. From Australia. 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 I'm at a conference. I'm, I'm, I'm at a conference. 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 In, Sydney. In, Sydney. in Sydney. In Sydney. I'm at a conference in Sydney. And, um, I am at a conference in Sydney. I'm at a conference. I'm at a conference. I'm at a conference. In Sydney. Remember? Remember? When you say it, remember? It's like I already told you. O sea, no me pones atención, right? Remember? Recuerda. Recuerda. Remember? All right. All right. All right. Cuando le contesten, all right. Es que no se acordaban, pero ya se acordaban. All right. What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? Is it there? What time is it there? What time is it there? What time is there? What time is there? What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Right? And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right? And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right? Right? It's like, ¿verdad que sí? Right? Right? Estás confirmando, right? Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. Yes. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Madeline and Oscar, go ahead. Hello. Hey, hi, Madeline. This is Oscar. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am. I am at a conference, 
conference in Sydney, remember? All right, that time is this there. It is 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Um, four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. I am. That's Thanks. Okay. okay. I'm wait. I am. Uh, awake. Wait, uh, wait. I am awake now. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Okay. Now. I'm awake. Now I'm awake. I'm a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm, I'm awake. awake. Now. Oh, wow. I'm now. awake. Now. En realidad, Debbie, ahí le dice, that's okay. I'm awake. Now. I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake now. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Natalie, uh -huh. en este caso, en, uh, en el último guión, cuando son palabras así, solo so, como que se arrastra o se une. Como uh -huh. por ejemplo, dice, I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh -huh. I'm awake. I'm awake. Uh -huh. I'm awake. Uh -huh. I'm awake. Uh -huh. I'm awake. Uh -huh. I'm awake. Por ejemplo, por decir, uh -huh. I, I work at, pero se escribe, I work, I work at. at. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces solo Exacto. se une, como se sonaría. Es como la penúltima. Ah. Es como la, pelu la penúltima aquí. Que decimos, that's okay, that's okay. That's, that's, okay. Okay. that's okay. It's I'm four o'clock in the morning. I'm awake now. Uh, What I'm time awake is now. it there? What time is it there? Right. In this case, when you say, I'm awake, if you have difficulties, si a usted se le dificulta leerlo así como junto, this is, I'm awake now. Aquí en realidad, Debbie, lo que quería expresar con estos puntos suspensivos es como, ya desperté, ahorita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's okay, I'm awake now, <laughs> because you make me wake up, right? I'm awake, right? I'm awake. Very, I'm awake very good now. observation, Mr. Ricardo, right? Uh, the question, what time is it there? What time is it there? Time is it there? Okay, no nos tenemos time. que comer ni el verbo ni el subject, right? What time is it there? What time is it there? It's four o'clock. It's four a.m. Right? Ah, por ejemplo, ahí sería what, what time is it? What time is it there? Right? What time is it there? Exactly. Yes. What time is it there? What time is it there? Is it there? It's it's ten p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm really sorry, right? That's okay. I'm awake now. This is what, oh, sorry. Here in the picture, we have different situations. What time is it here in the picture? It is 4, 4 a.m., right? 4 and what time is in Sydney? Uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. What is Debbie doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Debbie? Conference. No, Debbie. She's calling. She's, ah. she's calling or she's answering the phone, right? What is John doing? What is John doing? English conference. He is attending, He's está atendiendo, está participando. He is attending a conference in Sydney, right? He's He is attending, 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 attending a conference in Sydney. In Sydney. He is attending a conference in Sydney, right? He is attending a conference. Attending. Attending is like que está participando de. He's attending a conference in Sydney. Good. And let me see. We're going to go here. This is what we were doing on the previous class. Lo que les explicaba la clase pasada es eh, exactamente esto. That we say like, it is past and two. Past. Right? And we were working on the different times and you were giving examples and everything. It is very simple. And when you tell the time, you can say, for example, what time is it right now? 
It is. It is night. It nine, has, but, nine, 29, nine pass. Mm. You can say it's 931. It's half past. Simple. It's half um, past nine, right? Half it's past half past nine. Nine. It's, it's half, half past. Nine. It's like media hora pasan it de las nueve. Nine, or nine, you can say in nine. a very simple way, it uh, here you say it is it nine is nine thirty. It's nine thirty. It's nine thirty, right? You can have Maybe these 30. very simple options. Yes, it is nine thirty p.m. Now, PM. now I am going to explain that one. Ya la, la diferencia entre p.m. a.m. y todo ya se la ah. voy a explicar. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces decimos eh, it's nine o'clock p.m. at no. night. Ahí como decir Son las nueve en punto de la noche, en punto, en punto. Mm -hmm. Right? You, so you say, it's nine o'clock, it's nine p.m. You can have the two differences. But that is something that you are going to see later. Ya se lo voy a explicar, aquí lo tengo ya listo para ustedes. So, this is what we were studying on the previous class, right? About the time. And we are going to go here, and I have some other examples. In this one, for example, here, we have, we have it's here, one it's one o'clock, it's one o'clock. What about here? It's one oh five. It's one oh five. ¿En qué otro momento it's hemos five. estudiado que se usa O en vez de cero? In the telephone. In the telephone no. numbers, no. right? Uh -huh. And also the with telephone. the time. Right, it's one o five. Es la una cero cinco. Right, it's one o five. Oh, five. One o five. La una cero cinco. Or you can say it's five after one. It's five after one. Or it's five um, past. Pasado. You can say it's five past. One. Pa. Five past one. Five after Five one. Past one. Exactly like that. Pas or in a very cinco. simple way, it's one o five. La una, la una cinco. Cero cinco. In this one, you have here. It's one it's fifteen. One fifteen. It's a quarter it's after one. Or you can it's say a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a it's a quarter past one. Past one. Past one. Past one. What about the next one here? It is. It's one thirty. One thirty. What about this one? One thirty. It's one forty. One forty. Twenty. It's twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Right? There you have the different examples of the time. Before the time goes by, antes de que nada pase, le voy a llamar la asistencia. Okay, para que no me digan, teacher, la distancia, no dormimos. No, for sure, we are going to do it right now. Let's see. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Stephanie Guadalupe. Thank you. Uh, let's continue. Janet. Rosibel. Okay. Thank you. Jonathan Fernando. Jonathan Fernando González Ramos José Daniel Valdizón Present Thank you, José Eduardo Mengíbar Present José Wilfredo Coreas Mr. José Wilfredo Coreas A la una, a la dos, a la tres Juan Pablo Guzmán Present Thank you Carla Sofía Carlita Sofía. Carlita Sofía, la una, la dos, las tres. Ah. 
Laura Lisette. Laurita, Laurita. She didn't come today. Eh, Madeline Rocía. Here, teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen. Present. Thank you. María Elena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mary Guadalupe. Present. Moisés Antonio. Present. Nancy Jocelyn. Present. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Osmilda Claribel. Present, teacher. Paola Lucía. Paola Lucía. Reina, Regina Guadalupe. Present. Ricardo Alexander. Present. Ronald Ernesto. Present. Rosa María Miguel. Present teacher. Rosy Natalie. Rosy Natalie. Ruth Daniela. Present teacher. Víctor. Present. Sofía Geraldine. Sofía Geraldine. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nancy Yamilet. Present teacher. Yesenia Beatriz. Yesenia Beatriz Galán Ventura. En... Let me see. I am missing Zulma Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven missing. Yes, indeed. Okay. Who didn't I call? Se me pasó alguien a quien no lo llamé? No? Okay. Eh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, Juan Guzmán dijo que estaba solo que sin cámara, pero no sé si está presente. Juan, 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 sí, pero ya me, me contestó sí, sí. el. Sí, ya. está. Ya. Ah, ok, listo. Ya está activo, Juan. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you no. very much. Ok, my dear class. Let's continue. Let's continue working. Hoy sí, ya vamos con todos los poderes. Ya. Let's continue here. Ok, so. Based on the time, right, as I told you, we have different forms of mentioning the time. In these different forms of the time, we have the normal ones that we use with the difference of five minutes, right? It's two o'clock, it's five past two, it's 10 past two, a quarter, 20, 25. It's half past two, it's 25 to three. It's 20 to three, it's a quarter to three, it's 10 to three, and it's five to three. Porque el reloj se va dividiendo en cada cinco minutos. When you say at is for a specific times, what time is your class? And you have here the example. At 9 p.m. The 9 p.m. The class starts at 9 p.m. Uh -huh. 9 p.m. Uh -huh. o'clock or 9 p.m. The flight mm -hmm. leaves at 10 to 3. In this yes. case, as we are using a specific times, you use at, at 1, at 2, at 3, or 4. And when you are answering the question, what time is it? What's the time? You say, it is. It's half past 4. It's 20 to 3. It's 9.40, right? So when you use the number, the time in general for answering the question, para contestar la pregunta, ¿qué hora es? Decimos, it's, it's half it's. past four. Pero si yo le pregunto, what time, what time do you wake up, people? Uh, what time do you wake up? I, I wake up, up at, I wake up, at, I wake up, um, six, I wake up, up four, I am at six o'clock. At 12. Oh my God. I wake up. 
Wake up. At. ¿A qué hora se despierta? At 6 a.m. At 7 a.m. At 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. That's the time. That's the time when you wake up. 5 a.m. 5 past water. No. That would be like at 5.15, you can say, to make it. At uh, 5.15 a.m. Okay, a. very good. 5.15 a.m. Very good. Tell me, what time do you enter to your work? <coughs> ¿A qué horas entran a trabajar? What time do you enter to your I work? I am work at 9 a.m. Okay, so you say, I, I enter. Am. I, I enter. enter to work. I enter to work, work at, at nine. Nine a.m. I, I enter nine. to work by thirty p.m. I enter to work at five thirty a.m. I saw that I enter to work. Cinco y media. Uh -huh. De la mañana. Sí. My goodness, and where do you work? Um, I am doctor. Ah, that's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Por eso. I finish work. You say, I finish work. Yo termino de trabajar. I finish work at 4 p.m. At 3 p.m. At 5 p.m. What time do you finish work? I finish work at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Good. I finish it's work. A, yes? You finish work at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., right? In this case, because we are giving specific times. Si damos una hora específica en lo que algo sucede, ocupamos at. Important, right? It is very important to remember this. And I have some examples here. Here, you can use the normal time. The normal time in the easy way. La forma más fácil de decir la hora es la hora y los minutos. Just like that. So you say it's 6.25. It's 8.15, it's 9.11, it's 2.34. It's the easiest way. Mm -hmm. And if you want to use it with past and to, that's correct as well. Ambas formas son correctas, right? You can say it's 25 to three, <coughs> it's 20 past 11, it's 18 past four, it's nine to nine, it's one to three. Right, and it is correct. The most common is just to say the hour and the minutes, and a little bit more complicated to say past and to. And here I have some other examples, right? I have examples of the different times right here. What time is it in the first clock? ¿Qué hora es en este reloj de aquí? It's two. two. It's two twenty. It's two past twenty. It's no. It's twenty it's past two. Twenty after two. It's twenty past two. Very good. Two. You can say it's, it's twenty after two. two. It's two twenty. The two. next one you have here. It's ten. It's, it's seven. Seven. It's ten, ten to seven. 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 Here we have three options. It's eight forty-five. It's a quarter to nine or it's 15 to nine. Here we have quarter to nine. We have two options here. It's 11.05. It's five past 11. Yes. Estas tres, las tres son correctas. Aquí. The three forms are correct. In this three one, forms. it's 15 past three, or it's 315. And on the last one, también tenemos tres opciones que son correctas. It's 30 past four, it's half past four, or it's 430. It's 430, okay? So these are the different forms of giving the time. And just to be specific, y aquí va la pregunta que me estaban haciendo. I'm going to raise this one. I am p.m. o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon. This is the correct form. Tenemos dos opciones. 
Hay dos opciones para hacerlo. You can say, it's seven o'clock in the morning. O podemos decir, it's seven a.m. A.m. Please don't say, it's seven o'clock in the morning a.m. No. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Puede ser, it's seven o'clock in the morning. O puede ser, it's seven a.m. It's seven a.m. Seven a.m. O aquí puede ser, it's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. No. No. Específico y en caso especial decimos it's noon porque sabemos que es mediodía. It's noon. It's noon. It's midnight. Medianoche. It's noon, mediodía. It's media, midnight, medianoche. Midnight. 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 Here we have it's four o'clock in the afternoon or you can say it's 4 p.m. In the four. next one, you can say, it's 7 o'clock in the evening, porque entre las 6 y las 8 es evening. Or you can say, it's 7 p.m. PM. What about the next one? ¿Cómo es la siguiente? It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Okay, so you say it's 10 o'clock at night, right? It's 10 o'clock at night, or you can say it is 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Those are the options. No revolvamos las opciones, okay? Eso es muy importante. No digamos it's 10 o'clock in the morning a.m. <laughs> Porque estaríamos redundando en lo mismo, right? So we need to be very careful, okay? Right. Is it clear? So far, so good? Transformémosla clear. un poquito. It's yeah. nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine p.m. Yeah. It's eight, eight o'clock in the morning. Eight a.m. Very good. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's no it's midnight. It's midnight. It's midnight. Very good. It's midnight. It's three in the afternoon. It's three p.m. It's three p.m. Ahora démosle la vuelta. It's three a.m. It's three o'clock in the morning. What about this one? It's six o'clock. It's six p.m. It's six in the evening. In the evening. Entre las seis y las ocho es evening. What about the next one? It's four p.m. It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. The afternoon, very good. And the next one? It is noon. Twelve. 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 It's twelve p.m. Or you say it's noon. It's noon, right? It's noon. Very good. So, here we are going to do a little example. Vamos a movernos por aquí. Ahorita les muestro. And we are going to do a little example. In this one, what you are going to do, let me erase here. We are going to create the forms of these ones in the writing of the sentence, okay? Tenemos aquí la forma escrita. Tenemos que escribir los demás. Escojan cinco. Cinco. De los ocho. No, escojan cuatro. Solo porque ya faltan diez. Escojan cuatro. And you are going to write it. Aquí les escribí el primer ejemplo. Dice, it's 12 o'clock at night. Right? Here you are going to say, it's four. It's four o'clock in there. So you are going to say it is, it is four, 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 four o'clock in the afternoon. 
o'clock yeah. in the afternoon in the afternoon, yeah, afternoon right it's four o'clock in the afternoon escribanlas en su cuaderno cuatro go ahead Take four and write them. Escriban cuatro. Write your examples. Escriban sus cuatro ejemplos. Okay. Okay, let me know when you finish. Ok, estaba revisando la foto que nos envió Zulma y eh, de las correcciones. Eh, en la primera parte es, ahí le ha puesto, are they are in from England? Y la pregunta es, are they from England? Quítele el are y el in. Are they from England? And number four, is your first language Spanish? And the next one is, yes, I am Japanese. Are you, are you Japanese? No, are you, are you Japanese? Y el, la pregunta. Ok, ya se la voy a enviar escritas. Let's see. We are going to work. I need one volunteer. I need one volunteer to tell me this one. Number three. Number three. Ok, It's... Madeline. It's... Ok, Rosa María, you give me number four. Madeline, number three. Rosa María, number four. Go ahead. Uh, number three. Um, it's nine of fighting in the morning. Ok, it's nine. Here. Of fifteen. Uh -huh. Nine, fifteen. So you say it's nine. It's nine, fifteen in the morning. 15 in the morning, right? It's 9.15 in the morning. Very good. Number four, Rosa Maria. It is 8 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock at night, right? At It's 8 o'clock at, at night. Very at good. Nine. It is 8 o'clock at night. Very good. Let's see. Uh, number five. Ricardo, porque ya está listo con el micrófono. Thank you. It's 10, 14. Ten, 10, 14 or 10, 45. It's, it is 10, 45 uh -huh. at night. Clock at night. It is 10, 45. Five at, at night. 
night. Very good. It's 10.45 or it's a quarter to 11. Right, it's a quarter to 11. Quarter what about number nine. six? It's number six, who has number six? ¿Quién ya terminó las seis? Manitas. ¿Quién ya terminó las seis? Madeline. <laughs> Con miedo. <laughs> Number six. It it is three past thirty. Okay, it is three Ten. past thirty. And what is a simpler way to say that? It is three thirty o'clock in the afternoon. Three three thirty in the afternoon. It is three thirty. O'clock es cuando es en punto cero cero. Uh, uh -huh. It is three thirty in the afternoon. The afternoon. Okay, in the afternoon. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. Uy. 30. 30. Ahí está. Que me había borrado. una cosa por poner otra. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. And number seven. It is six o'clock. Six o'clock at night. Okay. My, at Stephanie night. Guadalupe, help me with number seven. Así no nos confundimos. Number it seven. Six o'clock at evening. Oh, it is six o'clock in the evening. In the evening. Ya le puede hacer esa aclaración. Y María del Carmen, number eight. It's the noon. It's noon. It's noon. Very good. It's noon. Excellent. No. It's noon. Yeah. That's the way it is. Muy bien. Very good. So, important. Just to make it clear. You say, in the morning... You say in the afternoon, you say in the evening, you say at night. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay. Y si vamos a usar tiempos específicos, también ocupamos at. At four eh, o'clock, okay. let's say. At four o'clock. Teacher. Specific time. Es yes. En, en la mañana, en la tarde y en la. En la media tarde, evening. en la tarde noche. La ah, evening, evening es como la tarde noche. De las seis a las ocho. Ah, en at night, de las ocho a nueve en adelante. At night. Okay. But it's important. You say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. And it's important to remember that. And I am going to go back here just to finish a little bit on the topic, right? Here, I am going to mention just a little bit of the introduction for the last topic of tomorrow. Este es uno de nuestros últimos temas que es el present continuous. Present continuous are the forms of the verb that are happening in this moment. Que están pasando en este momento. And as you can see here in the pictures, you have the normal verb in the ing form. Si al verbo le agregamos la forma ing, ya lo hacemos progresivo. Right, you say eat, eating. Go, going. Read, reading. What is the difference? And I am going to write the difference here. You say I eat breakfast. Okay. And I am eating breakfast. breakfast. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos oraciones al momento de traducir? La que está comiendo. Ajá. La acción but, en el momento. Acción, una presente. Exactly. Ajá. Y What? la otra es lo que va a hacer. Ok. O lo que ya hice. No, en este caso dice, I eat breakfast. Es en general, lo hago todos los días. Right? I eat breakfast. Yo como desayuno. But if I say, I am eating breakfast right now, on the moment, yum, 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 right? I am eating, yum, 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 it doesn't have anything, for example, <laughs> right? I am eating breakfast, okay? So, that is the difference. La segunda diferencia, el uso del verbo to be y el verbo en ing. En esta solo tenemos el verbo. I eat breakfast. Este es el verbo principal. I eat breakfast. Y esto tenemos el auxiliary y el ing form. And as you can see, you have different rules, right? Normal rule. When you have with E, 
you transform it in ing, right? When you have ie, you transform it in y. Si tenemos verbos que terminan en ie, la transformamos a y, ing. We also have some others. Yes, Rosa Maria, tenemos una pregunta. Sí, el ing en qué tiempo está? Presente continuo. ¿Qué está sucediendo en este momento? Ok, ahí, ahí es lo que tenemos en español. Por ejemplo, estoy jugando, comiendo, brincando, leyendo. Right? Es nuestro ando endo in Spanish, right? In this case, we have, si tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante, tenemos que hacer doble consonante, ing. Ok, and when you have hap, happened, happening. Open, opening. Visit, visiting. Begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, submit, submitting, right? And some differences between American English and British English. In American English, you have equaling con una L. In British, equaling with double N. Traveling with double L. In American English, traveling. Mm -hmm. In English Británico, in English normal. Controlling, controlling, it's the same, okay? And so this is what we are going to study tomorrow. Este es el tema que vamos a ver el día de mañana okay. with a little conversation. Con esto vamos a empezar el día de mañana. Okay, so have a beautiful night, my dear class. Thank you, and teacher. And I am going to see you Thank tomorrow you. for the Thank next. You. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. And the tomorrow. teacher is Bye. leaving. <laughs> The students are leaving. Go ahead. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Yeah. bye. Take care.